It's nice outside. Let's get out of the game room and get outside and be around some grass. But anyways, I wanted to talk about the Vince McMahon uh, stuff that's going on. The, you know, the alleged stuff. Because I have to say alleged for legal reasons. The thing is, with Vince McMahon, uh, with his promos, even though they were supposed to be entertainment value promos, I saw the clips, all the clips. I gotta be real honest. They're gonna be playing most of that stuff in the courtroom. And the reason why I know if it correlates to a crime, then they do that. It's like when a rapper goes around here, you know, talking about, you know, murking someone because I can't say the word or unaliving somebody, you know. And it's in the song lyric, they went to this to this address at this distant night time. They end up catching that rapper and he gets thrown in prison. If you anything know about like the young, you know, young YM Melly is the prime example of that. The reason why I bring this up is it's also the same thing with the case with Dob against Davi Vanity. Because, I mean, it did come out, all the stuff came out. But if you paid attention to Davi Vanity's music when he was in Blood of the Dance Floor, all of it correlate to the crimes he was committing. Now, I'm not saying, you know, entertainment can't be entertainment. Entertainment becomes evidence when it correlates to the to the criminal ele the criminal element of this of of the set crime. You know, if you commit set crime and then you make a song or, or video or anything talking about you you know you did this then it does come back against you so it's it does kind of hurt the w now again i'm not a big wwe fan again the only thing i know about wwe is the playstation one games you know stone cold steve austin hulk hogan and those you know the, t the t typical guy sting x pac you know, even even uh, even Raven, because there was a, a guy I hate out in high school who was obsessed with the wrestler Raven. But yeah, you know, going back to the whole thing again, you know, uh, you know, back to this WWE drama. The thing is, all the stuff he says in his clips correlates what he's again in trouble for. So that's exactly why. That's why I feel like it, he, I feel like he's going to end up losing this case. He's going to get caught. He's going to get busted. Vince McMahon is not going to get out of this. I'm sorry. There's just no way out of this. Especially since the correlation of the perceived entertainment clips correlates to the crimes he's convicted of. You know. So, it's just my two cents of it. I wish I could find the videos with TikTok's taking that down. Plus, TikTok's taking out anything with music or anything that's either copyright or controversial topic or topics like this so they may take this video down too because I'm talking about uh, alleged stuff because I have to say the word alleged because you know but yes they might take this video down but the point I'm trying to get to is the thing is it stops being entertainment and stuff like that when it correlates to the stuff that you're doing and then it becomes evidence